Welcome everybody. Today I'm going to guide you through a yoga nidra practice. So I invite you to make your space as comfortable as possible. If you'd like to take any props such as pillows, blanket, maybe an eye pillow, just to make yourself as comfortable as possible. So let's begin our yoga nidra. Start by lying down in Shavasana, finding a comfortable pose. Shavasana is called the dead man's pose or corpse pose to allow us to come into a comfortable space on the surface beneath us, making yourself as comfortable as possible using any pillows or blankets that you wish or have near you, making any adjustments that you need to make in your clothes, in your hair, your face, body, anywhere that you need to. Keep your feet slightly apart and let them flop a little sideways. Arms are slightly away from your body with the palms of your hands facing upwards. You might wish to adjust your blanket, your clothing, anything else in your form or shape that you've taken so that you can practice yoga nidra without moving and with no physical discomfort. Allow your eyes to close and keeping them closed throughout the practice. The practice of Yoga Nidra is the act of hearing and the act of feeling. These are the only important factors. In Yoga Nidra, you function on the level of awareness plus the level of listening. In dreams, you have no control. In Yoga Nidra, you are the creator of the dream. Repeat to yourself mentally, I will not sleep. I shall only listen to the voice. Repeat to yourself. I will not sleep. Give yourself some time to become calm and steady and take a deep breath and as you breathe in, start to feel the calmness spreading throughout your entire body. As you're breathing out, say to yourself, Relax. I am relaxed. Start to become aware of the sounds in the distance. Become aware of the most distant sounds that you can hear. Let your sense of hearing operate like a radar searching out distant sounds and following them for a few seconds. Move your attention from sound to sound without attempting to identify the source. Gradually bring your attention to closer sounds, to sounds outside of this building outside of the space that you are in and then to sounds inside of the room you're in. Begin to develop your awareness of the space that you are in. Without opening your eyes, visualize the floor, the walls, the ceilings, your body lying on the floor. See your body lying on the floor. Become aware of the existence of your physical body lying on the floor. Total awareness of your body lying in perfect stillness. Your body is lying on the floor. Develop your awareness of all the physical meeting points between your body and the surface beneath it. Become aware of the natural breath 
Become aware of the deep, natural, spontaneous breath. Do not concentrate, for this will interfere with the natural process. Keep on listening to my voice and know that you are breathing. The practice of Yoga Nidra begins now. Say mentally to yourself, I am going to practice Yoga Nidra. I will not sleep. I am going to practice Yoga Nidra. This is the time for making your Sankalpa a consistent statement that expresses a positive quality that's personally beneficial. It might affirm a change in your behavior for the better or reflect something meaningful you'd like to do with your precious life. Something to ignite your energy so that your spirit soar. If you wish, use this time to formulate your resolve now. Keep it clear, brief and sincere. And as you breathe in, silently repeat your sankalpa to yourself in a heartfelt manner. And as you exhale, sigh out your breath, releasing something that doesn't serve you, allowing space for something new to land. Do this three times where you breathe in your intention as you inhale, repeating it to yourself in a heartfelt manner, and then exhaling, sighing out. Take a deep breath in and let it go. Allow your mouth to open and release your breath on the exhale. Remind yourself to stay awake and aware and alert. If you need to make any adjustments for comfort, do that. Notice where the back of your head touches the surface beneath it. Having a direct experience of the contact point where your head meets the surface. Allow the surface beneath your head to completely support your head. You might open your mouth a little bit and gently move your jaw from side to side and around. And now let your mouth rest closing your lips, allowing your teeth to part slightly and the corners of your lips to soften and relax. Let all the muscles release, allowing the muscles that are tight to allow their tension to fade away. Becoming more attuned to your senses Focus your attention on your eyes. Keeping them closed, lift and lower your eyebrows and then allow them to become still. Become aware of your eyes resting in their eye sockets. Sense the outside air on your eyelids and become aware of how your eyelids touch and cover your eyeballs. Almost like eye shades. And even though your eyes are closed, you can still see. Focusing in on your inner vision. Watch whatever appears on the inside shade of your eyelids coming and going. You might feel the darkness. There may be some color, perhaps some different shapes or forms. There's no right or wrong. It doesn't matter what is there. What matters is watching whatever comes and goes. No need to make comments about it or judgments. Just let your eyes rest. Let your eyes become still. Yet watching the inner space. Simply looking and softly gazing around, watching in stillness.
Let's start to rotate our attention to various areas of our bodies. It's okay to repeat silently each location to yourself as you follow along. There's no need for any movements as you follow. It's time to find your right hand. Sensing where your right hand is, finding your right hand mentally, your entire right hand, and the right thumb, the index finger, the middle finger, the ring finger, and the baby finger, the palm of your hand, the back of your hand, the wrist, the lower arm, your elbow, your upper arm, your right shoulder, the armpit, down the right side to the hip, your upper leg, your knee, your calf, your ankle, heel, bottom of the foot, top of the foot, your big toe, your second toe, your third toe, your fourth toe, and the baby toe, and now the whole entire foot. The whole entire foot. Having a direct experience of your whole foot. And now mentally find your left hand, sensing your left hand, finding your left hand mentally, your entire left hand, the left thumb, the pointer finger, the middle finger, the ring finger, the baby finger, the palm of your hand, the back of your hand, the wrist, the lower arm, the elbow, your upper arm, your left shoulder, the armpit, down the left side of your body to the hip, your upper leg, your knee, calf, your ankle, your heel, bottom of the foot, top of the foot, Big toe, second toe, left third toe, fourth toe, and the baby toe. And now the whole entire foot, the whole entire foot, having direct experience of your whole foot. If you get distracted, simply bring your attention back to what we've been doing, remembering to stay alert and awake. Now move your awareness to the base of your spine, up to the lower back, your mid back, your upper back, to the top of your head, and now to the centre of your forehead. And now to the right eyebrow, your left eyebrow, the right eyeball, the left eyeball, your right eye socket, the left eye socket, the right eyelid, the left eyelid, and the space in between your eyelids, letting your eyes rest. And now the right ear, the left ear, the right cheek, the left cheek, the nose, the tip of the nose, the upper lip, the lower lip, the line between the lips and the corners of the lips and now the jaw and going inside the mouth, sensing the inside of the mouth, 
the tongue, the gums, teeth, feeling the moisture, feeling the moisture and tasting the taste. And now to the throat, the heart, the upper abdomen, your belly button, the lower abdomen and the base of your spine. Can you notice yourself sensing a feeling of calmness coupled with alertness? Remember to stay awake, aware and alert. And now to the right leg, the whole entire right leg and all the parts of the whole right leg. And now to the left leg, the whole or entire left leg and all the parts of the whole left leg. And sensing both legs at the same time. Sensing both legs at the same time. And now to the right arm, the whole entire right arm, and all the parts of the right arm. The left arm, the entire left arm, and all the parts to the whole left arm. And now to both arms at the same time. Sensing both arms, both hands and both arms and hands and moving on to sensing the head and now your face and both the head and face at the same time the head and face together and now having a direct experience of the back side of your body sensing the contact points with the back side of your body touches the surface that it's being supported by. Picking them out, feeling them and experiencing the whole back side of your body all at the same time. And now the front side of your body, the whole entire front side. Feeling the textures of your clothes, touching the skin and sensing the air touching your skin both from the front and back side of your body all at the same time. This is the time to sense your whole self, your whole body all at once, all together. Sensing your whole body at the same time. Notice if it feels heavy and still, being totally relaxed, yet fully awake. Perhaps sensing the space around your body and now the body and the space around it. If you'd like to shift and make any adjustments, please do so. Now we go to the breath. Move your awareness to the ongoing natural breath. There is no need to change it. Just allow yourself to feel the breath as it comes and goes again and again, remaining aware of breathing and little else, allowing any mental, mental chatter to dissolve into the background, focusing on your breathing, following the breath cycle in and out, over and over. Notice the softness, notice its subtleness. Now it's time to notice where it's easiest to notice your breath. Maybe it's the way it sounds. Maybe it's how it feels at the tip of your nostrils. Perhaps in your throat. Maybe in your upper, middle or lower part of your lungs and abdomen. Simply noticing where your breath is, where it's most prominent. It doesn't matter where. 
Just allow your attention to rest wherever your breath is most noticeable. And if you are having distracting thoughts, just bring your attention back to your breathing, anchoring your attention on your breathing. Rest your attention now to your forehead. Let your attention remain at your brow, at your eyebrows. You can start by using your mind's eye from remembering and imagining a few scenarios. Use whatever senses make this easy for you. Some people can visualize and see things, many don't. It might be easier to conceptualize or feel or use the sense of smell or taste. Sometimes the scenarios change on their own in order to match the needs more closely. So if that's the case, just allow it to occur. And if you're not in the mood for this or scenarios are elusive or intrusive, sometimes entirely different, something entirely different might come up. And that's fine too. If you prefer, feel free to linger on a scenario or two. Go with this spirit of curiosity, accepting and trusting what's happening with your heart as a neutral, compassionate observer. Allow your attention to move up and down your spine from the top of your head to the tailbone. It's circling up and down, up and down, connecting with the energy power centers within. We're gonna move through a few affirmations so focusing in on our base chakra, an affirmation of repeating to yourself, I am secure, steady and strong. I am centered. Into your sacral chakra, I experience my feelings and emotions and express intimacy. I am sensual and creative. And now into the solar plexus chakra. I am happy and healthy in body, mind and soul. I am confident. Just above the solar plexus, just above where your stomach is, into the heart chakra, repeating to yourself, my heart flows with compassion for myself and others. I am loving and I am loved. Bringing your attention to your throat, your throat chakra. I communicate clearly and listen deeply. I am self-expressive. Bringing your attention between your eyebrows to the eye, third eye chakra and repeating to yourself, I trust my instincts. I trust my insights. I am intuitive. Continuing to be at ease and resting in awareness. A time for welcoming in fresh perspectives, new insights and new understandings. And being ready to receive guidance, intuition that may come now or may come later being open and receptive.
being in the present. Notice whatever you're experiencing. Perhaps it's a sense of inner peace, delight, deep satisfaction. If it's helpful to use your mind's eye to experience feelings of pleasure, a time of contentment, of happiness, perhaps a time when you laugh so hard you could barely stop, or the feeling of jumping for joy, bringing the feelings back alive and noticing how these sensations and feelings can be relived now. Expand your awareness and are settling into a feeling of being connected, of belonging. Possibly sensing a deep contentment, oneness, wholeness, resting in pure awareness. Repeating to yourself, I am connected. I am I am connected, I am. Om Shanti, peace, peace, peace. Now it's time to remember your sankalpa, your intention. Repeat the same sankalpa made at the beginning. Say it in a heartfelt manner three times as you breathe in and allow your breath to sigh out, letting it go after each repetition. Imagine what it would be like if your sankalpa were so. It exists within you. Take another breath in and let it go. Becoming more and more aware of your whole body, of your whole self. What are you experiencing and sensing right now? What are you noticing? Perhaps it's feeling completely peaceful and quiet, yet so refreshed and full of delight welcoming what's happening in this moment. Notice the softness of your breath, the rhythm of your breath, in and out, in and out. Becoming more and more aware of your whole body lying here and experiencing peaceful relaxation and joyful energy. It's time to come back into full awareness and wakefulness, bringing back with you all of the benefits of Yoga Nidra to benefit yourself as well as others. Become more and more aware of the space that you are in, the time that you are in, sensing the moment and these surroundings. You're becoming more clear-headed, more awake and noticing how feeling totally relaxed and refreshed you are. Increasingly bringing your awareness to the present moment in these surroundings. What's above you? What's all around you? What's below? And when you're ready, starting to move your body. Micro movements in the fingers and toes, in the wrists and the ankles. Feeling that beautiful sensation of stretching, however you wish. 
when you're feeling more ready, making your way to your side, to your most preferred side. And then when you're feeling it's time, start to make your way to a comfortable upright sitting position. Allow yourself to rest your hands on the knees, touching the tips of your thumbs to the tips of your index fingers and resting your hands, resting your shoulders. Allowing yourself to soak in the sensations. Bringing the palms together into Anjali Mudra. Notice your inhalation, sighing out from your mouth. Notice if you're smiling to yourself. Keeping your sankalpa in mind, allow it to take root and to flourish into your day. Sealing our practice with a chant of Om, so taking a breath in and breath out to prepare. Inhaling to Om. Om. Om Gam Ganabata Ye Namo Nama. The remover of obstacles and of new beginnings. Let there be light, let there be life, let there be happiness, let there be love. Bowing slightly, touching the forehead. Namaste. Thank you for allowing me to guide your practice today in your yoga nidra.